Basically what we've done here, we've swung the, swung the rigger straight out, got the halyards tight, and now we have the dredge line already all, I had it all pre-connected here. As you can see, the points of connection, we have two points. You got a pulley on the top end, and you just got a connection on the bottom end, and you'll see in a, in a second how we'll put this dredge through here. All right, guys. What we're going to talk about now, we're going to how, how we attach all this. The reason the reason doing this is I don't know if you can see it, what I got going on up here. There's uh, we have dredge clamps that are that are right below each set of the pulleys, each set of the rollers, and what those are are two attachment points. And as you can look at the top one, coming from the reel, I have a pulley at the very top, which that's, that's your first point of contact. But that's hooked right to that dredge, that dredge clamp, and your line goes from that from that pulley to your dredge. So then you go down to your dredge, if, if you can see down there, there's another pulley down there. So, so basically you have two chains of directions going on here. So you got this pulley here, and then when you come back from that pulley, you're going back to your rigger once again on, on this other dredge clamp down here with a snap or however you want to attach it. But what that does is basically you have two chains of directions in the whole system, which it helps bring, you know, you're, you're pulling a lot of load, a heavy weight, so the change in direction two times, it, it eases that weight up a lot and it makes it a lot easier on this reel and, and put less stress on the rigger. You also see that everything is under my halyards. It has to, this is going to be the closest position to the boat, so everything has to be under your halyards. So we're dredges ready to go in the water. Once, once we give the boat a little speed, you'll be able to start to tell. You'll see when it, when it comes back off, off itself there. Now we have, the, we have the dredge pulled wherever we'd like, probably a little bit further back sometimes. Ideally, you'd like, you'd like to have your dredge outside of your whitewater so you can see that you, you can actually see the fish come into the dredge. A lot of times the fish will come from the outside and you'll see them come right on it. But even if it's right on the edge, the fish can still see it a lot better than you can see it. But it helps if, if we can actually see the, see the dredge from the boat. It just makes the, it makes the game a whole lot easier. We can take our squid chain. We have our, our teaser ring returns for our squid chains all rigged up through here. Once we deploy this, we'll actually let this go inside the dredge. Once once we pass the dredge, then, they, then we can go out into position with it. Now you can see the setup. You got your squid chain outside. You can obviously adjust the distances on both of them. But the dredge is right in, right outside the white water. You see it perfectly. You got your squid chain outside of that. And what also makes it nice about this, when you do get a fish on, you can bring your dredge up here and it'll hang off your boat. Just, you know, normally when we used to fish them on the gunnels, you, that, that was always a problem. You, you bring it by the side of the boat and the dredge would always beat it in the side of the boat. Well now as you can see, it's hanging from the rigger. No problem, and you, you fight your fish, and all you do is, just, as soon as you're ready to deploy, let her fly. How we're able to do this is, obviously, in the past, we, we've never been able to pull these off a rigger off the center console because the mount was always the weakest link. And now the guys at Jim have designed this mount and these new riggers, we're, we're able to do that because that's that's where you're, there's, there's a lot of stress on these. A lot of stress, you know, obviously if it's rough, everything's pulling, but now with this mount, this will hold the weight. And that, that's why we use it on both, on both points, kind of help that out a little bit, but that's, we're basically being able to fish like they did on a sport fish boat on a small boat. And it kind of, it kind of simplifies it a little bit, but it kind of dumbs it down to a point, but, it, but it's, it's the same concept. On a sport fish boat, the, the pulleys are going to be a little bit further apart, but you, but you can move these however you wanted them. But this is kind of where we like them here. It's kind of the sweet spot on, on this boat. It works out pretty good. I mean, obviously, seeing the fish makes the whole it changes the game for everybody on the boat. I mean, it makes it a lot more fun experience for everybody to be able to see the fish come up. We're kind of bringing the spread closer to the boat, and it's just a different fit, different fishery instead of just riding around waiting for the clicker to go off.